Hello everyone, I am Tacit and today I'm going to be going over some Night Coronet builds that you can use. First off, we're going to be starting with Night Coronet, Valor, Griffin Knight, and the Ice Arrow. We're actually using all Swords Edge right here. Valor, uh, I believe consoles, you guys just got him this week as well, so you'd be able to make this team as well. Uh, very early on in the game, this will be uh, particularly good because you're getting plus 2 attack and plus 14 armor total. So that's going to be a lot of extra armor. You can see we're getting like ridiculously high amounts on all of these. So they're going to be really resistant against skulls and other uh, forms of physical damage against them. Uh, true damage is going to hurt them pretty bad though. But other than that, they'll be uh, really, really tanky. And we just use Ice Arrow here. We are using the Knight class. Uh, formed on a knight, which is giving us all these bonuses. As long as you use a blue weapon here, you'll get the extra magic from using the class. You really don't need any trace on it. Maybe the first one, and that's about it. Griffin Knight, you just need the first two. We're also using uh, four times blue, so aside from just getting a higher surge chance on blues, uh, we're also getting plus four magic for our knight coronet and plus four magic for our uh, Griffin Knight, which will make them a lot higher. We also have Valor, who will, of course, be uh, countering any daemon that they might have, which is just Inferno King in this instance. And, of course, this will be countering reds. Uh, if you don't have the Ice Arrow, you get Ice Arrow when you get 40 blue and 40 green. You can just use something like Prismatic Orb, which you get at all 25 all masteries, or, like I said, just a standard blue weapon that you happen to have laying around. So, let's get into this. Ideally, we'd want to be focusing on getting Knight Coronet up on this team. We do want to make sure whatever we do, we do not give uh, Mercy her cast. We want to use that the best that we can. Because she'll probably miss her next turn. Mana so we'll take surge, that. Mana and if it misses, it gives us plenty of mana, and it does. We ought to be able to take it right there and take a bunch. Unfortunately, we actually only need one mana right now. Because Knight Coronet is our only... Um, our only yellow user, so that was a little bit unfortunate, but at least we got the mana there. And now we'll watch be able to cast Knight Coronet, just making sure there's no purples that might fall anywhere. Actually, there's no purples on the board. He does remove all purples at a 2 to 1 ratio, but there are none. So he'll just do a bunch of damage to them. He's doing an excessively high amount. You saw right there, 25 each. Uh, this is mostly because he's getting plus 4 magic from Water Spirit and plus 3 from the leader. And it's plus 4 because we have uh, 4 blues. It's 1 per blue. And we can probably just take skulls here. I don't really see anything else. Want to make sure we get that mall dead before it fills us up its mana. Luckily, it is nowhere near close to that yet. Uh, we don't use purple. We uh, are using five colors, but Knight Coronet denies purple. So technically, we're using them all, but there's no point in us uh, directly taking purples. So right here, we'll just deny some reds. Gregor is about to cast soon. Mana surge. So there is Mercy. It looks like it's going to get a lot of mana if I just do nothing here. So, let's see. Uh, that's somewhat unfortunate. There's really no way I'll be able to stop that. So, I'm going to let it cast. We'll just use it on the Daemon, which will do twice as much damage. Unfortunately, it will be one damage short. So, we'll get a bunch of mana there. And it needs to die now. It is very, very close to getting that up. Uh, let's see. And there's no way I'll really be able to kill it quickly. I might be able to get that Devour off before we can do anything about it. Okay, he didn't get a Surge here, so we have one more turn. Uh, I need this to Surge. Go. Nope. Nope. Uh, I don't think... I, oh yeah, Ice Arrow will kill it, so that will work out. And there he goes. He gets all of his mana. But we have just enough. Or actually, one extra damage, and that'll be able to kill it off. And this current team is more for an earlier game build. Pretty much everything in, the, in here is really easy to obtain. For PC mobile players, Valor might be slightly harder if you're newer. Because he is an epic, so he's going to be uh, uh, slightly rarer in chest drops. But currently, console players, you have him as your uh, vent troop this week. So it'll be very easy for you to build a team like this. The only thing you really probably wouldn't have is this hero weapon. Which you can just replace with any blue weapon for the most part. Uh, let's see. It doesn't matter too much if it takes skulls because we have Stone Skin on Knight Coronet, which is going to be protecting him against, uh, or 50% of all skull damage will reduce. So we'll take this. Hopefully he takes it upward. Yep. 
Okay. So we'll take that and probably cast this. Let's see. Well, miss probably. <laughs> oh, you can almost guarantee it. But it does 30 damage because of how much bonus we're getting. And it loops right back into the um, Night Coronet. So we'll be able to use this now. We also get two to one ratio. So we're going to be getting a bit more damage from there. Which looks like we got three extra damage from it. So that means there was like six or seven purples on the board before we did that. We'll just take the skulls and immortals, of course. Why would it not? So uh, we could kill Shugra right now. It does give eight HP whenever you kill something, but I'm pretty sure it would be, we'd be better off just using it on the Daemon to damage it more. And I'm kind of just waiting a turn just to see what happens before I do it though. We'll take that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's just take it out. Let the light of the heavens shine forth. And next cast should kill it. It is gonna get a cast off, but it looks like it'll miss. I don't see anywhere's where it'll hit, so we'll just take these yellows, I believe. Just double checking real quick. Uh he will get those skulls. I don't think there's any way I can actually stop that though. Mana surge. Oh, and he got that extra turn right there that came out down for him. Oh, well. So he's actually going to get that. He'll get another skull pair, too. As long as it's not an extra turn, it should still live. Yes, Night Coronet still survives, but he gets another extra turn. So there goes our Night Coronet. Poor thing. Uh, one good, really good thing right now. Um, we have two times skull damage against Stamens, and we're actually going to be able to kill him with this, assuming he doesn't resurrect again. Okay, there we go. Got it with the Daemon Slayer. And now it'll probably die to your Shagra. So armored helped its um 25% reduction to skull damage. That probably saved it. He only has 17 HP now. And we'll just be able to... Actually, we don't use yellow anymore, so that'd be a little bit of waste. Let's just take uh, blue. Actually, I probably should have taken green right there. Just so we could have uh, gotten our hero up. But that skull will finish it off. So next up for Night Coronet teams is actually one of my favorite Night Coronet teams. Actually, I think it is my favorite Night Coronet team. Uh, I'll be showing it in one moment. And of course, it will be using Valkyrie. So another Daemon, or not another Daemon, another Inferno King. Well, it's still a Daemon too, but... Uh, Night Coronet, Behemoth, Valkyrie, and Druid. A lot of physical damage in that, and you'll be able to get souls with Valkyrie. You have the Druid, who also gives a Water Link, and you have the Water Link from Valkyrie, and the combination of that with her cast is just going to create you so much mana. Want to make sure you have at least plus one red on your banner to make sure you can fill up Valkyrie in case you get a Surge on one of them, just so you don't waste an extra turn getting mana. So we'll take these Browns here, get all the other mana. Mana Surge. And Behemoth is almost up. If we can take a Brown, that'd be perfect. Mana Surge. Otherwise, we'd want to try getting Valkyrie up. So we'll take these reds, just double checking the board for anything else. We didn't get a surge here, so it is going to have to take one more turn. And I wasn't even paying attention to Mercy. It is going to get a good Mercy cast right there. And let's see, will this miss? No, it won't. He's going to probably kill our Night Coronet. Luckily, he does have that stone skin, so it should barely survive. Okay, there we go. It does. So from here, we'll just take that, and we should get quite a bit of damage potential out of that. Mana surge. Let's see anything else. Doesn't look like it. We'll just use Behemoth there. That, that's not Behemoth. That misclick though. <laughs> that misclick though. Well, he'll just take the skulls. That's not too big a deal. But from here, I am going to have to use the Valkyrie. Now that I just just messed that up, so we'll have to use that there. Mana surge. And probably going to have to Night Coronet again. It, ideally, we'd want him to take skulls next turn. That would actually be good for us if he does. Uh, I'm not going to waste a turn uh, over there doing that, though. So, real quick, let's get Valkyrie up. Mana we'll get an extra turn from that. Surge. And move out these reds. And I think I can give him a skull here. That will stay in place. That one will drop down. So, he'll take those skulls next turn. We'll just use that. He'll take those skulls. Or, never mind, we killed him. Okay. <laughs> and that wasn't the plan, but it worked. Uh, 1 HP. He's as good as dead. Our Knight Coronet. We might be able to use him one last time before he dies, though. Let's see. We could use it on yellow. Uh, I think I'm going to. Mana surge. 
And with one HP, his dying blow. Massive. Take that real quick. It'll take the skull next turn. Go hit our behemoth. Uh, we'll take those browns, actually, from all of the brown removal. If we get a brown that just drops right there, uh, we'll get an extra turn, which will be really nice. Let's see. Nope, we didn't get it. Got skulls, though. And now it'll hit one HP. Look at how much tanking she, or he, it is doing. Right there, just with one HP, it ended up tanking that down. So, uh, we're in a pretty good position here. Really, no way we could really lose unless in uh, Inferno Surge. King revives like a thousand times in a row. Mana Surge. So we'll just take out the yellow, get Behemoth back up, Mana Surge. Mana and just Surge. keep flipping. Uh, I'll leave the skull, sir. See what Behemoth will do to the board. Mana Surge. Nice extra turn. Get Behemoth back up. And it's going to have like such a huge amount of HP because of the uh, legendary immense trait. Four life on four times or higher matches. This is going to keep going higher and higher every single time. So we'll cast this again. We'll get the Druid out. And um, that's pretty much going to be it. Or after the Druid. We'll need one Skull Pier though, but we can just take either of those two. Double check the board. Doesn't look like anything. We'll take that. And that is the match. Right in time before he casts as well. And finally, for the third Night Coronet team. We have... Oh, no, not a queen map. Uh, we have... Night Coronet. Archie, double Night Coronet. Uh, with a Famine and Valkyrie. Night Coronet with Valkyrie, you can pretty much put that with anything and it'll work. Uh, I know most of you probably don't have a fully traded Famine. Something else you could use here is... Uh, Archer with the War and Peace weapon. The War and Peace weapon you get from uh, the KZL Kingdom right there. The bonus quest line at the end of the kingdom, you get a uh, War and Peace weapon, which is a full AoE uh, brown green weapon. Uh, but if you don't have that, you can just use something like uh, Archon Statue. It'd be perfectly fine. Their Archon Statue has a 50% uh, skull reduction as well, so it'll work out. So let's get into this. Double Coronet is actually decent, even though you can't use the second leadership that's on the bottom Knight Coronet. You're still getting the Warder Link, which is working on both of them. Or not the Warder Link, but the Warder Spirit, giving them that extra magic. Plus, you're still just going to be able to uh, focus down specific enemies, because you're hitting both the first and last over and over again. And having two troops that can do both of those at the same time is just going to uh, kill them directly. Plus, since you're going to be killing something from the back, it might uh, mess up their uh, lineup that they initially had. So I don't know why I took the skulls. I actually probably should have just taken those yellows right there. I was thinking about it, but I don't know what made me go for the skulls there. It would have just been better taking the, that initially. He'll take skulls and it doesn't really matter. We basically do, neither of us do any damage to each other when doing skulls. This theme is also missing purple like the previous one, but similar to the previous one, Night Coronet can just remove those purples. So it's fine if the team doesn't actually use purple. You can just use the Night Coronet to have it removed. You also normally don't want to have to put a um, purple troop below a knight coronet because then, you, of course, you'll just be denying its colors. So we'll take that just to make sure he doesn't get it, even Metal though it was frozen on us. And we'll just take these reds. Guaranteed chance, even if it wasn't a surge. And looks like we'll... Ideally, we would want to use this on purple or some other color. We could use it on green or red right now. I'm thinking about leaning towards green just so we can take those reds right there. It's already set up for four times. Oh, never mind. We dragged it down. So now we have our Night Coronets up. So we'll be able to start using that. Before we do, let's just take some mana. Free extra turn there. Might as well use it. We actually got a famine out of that from those lucky uh, brown drops that came with it. And I believe that's it for everything. Uh, we'll be able to drop those blues and get them as well as those purples. But we don't need any of that mana. So a lot of stuff is going to fall here. Mana oh wait, never mind. Yeah, we get it right back from the Night Coronet. I forgot. Yeah, duh. <laughs> it kind of uses that color. So yeah, we did actually get all of our mana right back. So we can just recast it now uh, from that uh, nice cascade. And that will give us a double kill since every single one of our shots hooks it down. Surge. And another really lucky extra turn right there. We just keep going on and on with this. 
Uh, I want to use this on brown, but I don't see an extra turn. We could do it on green. Uh, we have famine up, so I guess it wouldn't hurt if we do it on green. We're going to be one mana short, but we can just take that. Leave those skulls there for now. We'll take those two purples. Uh, yeah, I'll just leave the skulls. Like that. Hey, we even got a lucky red right there. Wow. And it's just going to give us all these reds. We didn't even need that random red that we got earlier from the Cascade. Fill it right back up. And... Uh, I guess let's keep casting it. Also, you can kind of see, you don't really need a famine here. We haven't even used it once. Of course, it's ticking down this legendary ability uh, every turn, but we haven't really needed that. Uh, you can really just put, uh, like I said, war, uh, war and Peace on the Archer class or a Archon statue here if you don't have famine. It'll do pretty much the same thing. And we'll take that. Free turn. Take that, another free turn. And I believe that's our end of our three free turns. Uh, I don't want to use the Night Coronet right now, though, because of where those uh, purples are positioned. It's just going to fill up the queen map. So we're going to take these reds. We didn't get surge, so we're one mana short. Now that it's safe, we can just use this. Uh, for the sake of using Famine, we have it. Might as well just use it, kill it off. Archon Statue would have done the same thing right there if he was damaged. Otherwise, I think that Queen Mab would have survived with a little bit of HP, but still pretty much similar. At least for the purposes of this team. But anyways, those are some of the Night Coronet builds that I like. I normally don't use Night Coronet that much because there are um, better alternatives legendary-wise uh, that can do very similar stuff. Right now, uh, Emperor Corvash would probably be the most popular pick on PC and mobile version. Don't know if consoles really have an equivalent better than Night Coronet now, but yeah, Night Coronet is definitely very strong. One of the most popular troops in the early game, as well as Valkyrie. And the fact that they both work together makes them even more popular. So definitely try out some uh, Night Coronet with Valkyrie teams. They are very, very powerful. Even if you just wanted to go something silly, like three Night Coronets and a Valkyrie, that would actually work. But you would probably want to play, replace one of those Knight Coronets with an Archon statue or something like that. Anyways, that will wrap it up for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.